There are 1,200 abused, abandoned, and neglected children in Palm Beach County's Guardian Ad Litem program. Volunteers serve as their advocates, both in and outside the courtroom. This also includes suicide prevention. All new at 4 this afternoon, WPTV News Channel 5's Arthur Mondale reports on the need for more powerful voices for children. Representation matters. Pamela Brooks is headed to 15th Judicial Circuit Juvenile Court. I'm wondering if mom showed up. Did they transport dad from jail? Guardian Ad Litem staff advocate has two hearings on the docket, but there's also a team of volunteers working behind the scenes. So what they do, they help us with some of the legwork. And they go out and meet with the child and they meet with the family and they meet with the school and the therapist and, and learn what um, would be best for that child. The court appointed position attorney Michelle Kennedy takes personally. She too was raised in foster care. I wanted to make a difference for kids growing up in the system. And Kennedy says the advocacy saves lives and families. By either advocating for reunification with the parents or we advocate for adoption or maybe um, living with a relative. So what does the child really want? The program estimates children in foster care are two and a half times more likely to consider suicide than other youth and four times more likely to try it, which is why volunteers can work with children for years. Read their history, take the time to really read the file and find out who this person is. This person is just not a case. There's also a need for more black male volunteers. 45% of our kids are African American. We need more black males. Our black males are suffering. Where, where does that number come from? Why, is, why do we have that number? Now, if you would like to be a voice for children in court, you must be over 21 years of age. Take a background check, attend 30 hours of training, and commit to at least 10 hours a month representing children. To learn more, visit our website, Arthur Mondale, WPTV News Channel 5.